Okay, hello everybody and uh, welcome to uh, our second uh, project tutorial here in uh, Intro to Rhino. This is Jim DC, and I'm going to be taking you through the build here on uh, on this guy. This is a nice little uh, cheapo water bottle. I got it REI for about $6.95, thinking that it was on sale because of this, uh, this kind of like taupe color here, which is not exactly attractive. There was a few other ones um, that were on the shelf alongside of it that were in cooler colors like, you know, neon green and red. And those were all um, $10.95, so none of those were on clearance. So it was a good little lesson to learn about picking colors. So uh, just here's a few shots of it, you know. And the um, first thing that comes to mind when you see this, I think, is probably... That's kind of easy to build, right? It's just a revolve. But in this video series, I'm looking to disprove that. And I think that as you follow along with me, you'll see that um, as we kind of get into the details of this, we're going to find uh, difficulties all over the place. So another good tutorial, I think, for the beginning user. Um, lots of fun stuff to come, so stick with me. Uh, like the last videos, uh, I've gone ahead and just built one already just to kind of practice and kind of get my, uh, you know, my flow together. And uh, here's some renderings I did last night. These are seven, This is a seven-hour rendering that I did while I was asleep. And um, I've got a cool little depth of field feature going on in my rendering here so that it's blurry in the background and focuses in right on the most difficult part, which are these side cuts here. Um, these are from Keyshot. Um and then I've got uh, the actual the actual CAD file here in Rhino, so you can see how I've got this set up. So, uh, if you're following along with the previous tutorial we did with the Copic marker, then um, there shouldn't be too many surprises here. But uh, you know, one thing you see right away is the different color breaks we have here, and that's all set up with um, layers. Different parts of the model are saved onto layers, um, and We'll be going through those in the video as we build. Um, you can see here that I've got some pretty tricky little um, small fillets on this thing. And you can also see, too, uh, some of the part line right there. And um, if I just show the curves here, you can see how I've got my curves set up. Uh, let's switch over to wireframe mode here and um, take a look at uh, really what what is the backbone of this of this build here are these curves um, so looking forward to it here with you and uh, another thing I've got here just before I shut this video down is going to be the dimensions which we're going to be referring back to uh, quite a bit uh, you see I've got my dimensions actually saved on a separate layer in Rhino your dimensions will show up as, a, as a, their own entity uh, so uh, you can apply a dimension feature to any set of curves but it'll show up as its own thing um, which you can uh, delete and uh, get back with an undo so interesting little fact there a little different than SolidWorks but um, yeah so the thing that's really like I said the thing that's really important about this model is these curves these are the things that we're going to use to build all of the surfaces that are in this model and the things that we're going to use to rebuild those surfaces when we find ourselves going down the wrong road and need to rebuild something so, okay, all right, that's a little intro for you. In our next one, we're going to be setting down uh, some nice curves here. You know, if you uh, sit down with your sketchbook first and, uh, and just try to draw this thing, which I would highly recommend, you'll realize pretty quickly that there's a lot of ellipses going on, and that means there's a lot of circles in this build. So we're going to be using the circle tool quite a bit, and we're going to be using uh, construction geometry quite a bit to make sure that our circles are all laid out nicely. And I've got, just on the side of my desk here, I've got my uh, sketchbook here with some notes uh, from the build or from the actual model itself. I measured with my calipers and uh, took some scratchy little notes on that'll help uh, kind of guide us down the road so you can follow along. Okay? Okay. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this first little intro video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay? All right.